In this video, we want to find all equilibrium solutions for a given nonlinear system of differential equations. The equilibrium solutions for these equations mean that they are places where the solution does not move anywhere and stays constant. So for a system like this, means we're looking for a place where both derivatives are zero. So we want that both dx dt equals zero and dy dt equals zero. Based on our equations, we know that dx dt is given by x minus two times x plus y minus one, we want that to be zero, as well as y plus one and x minus y equaling zero. So in the first equation, we see that we have two factors here. So we can split these two things up into either x equals two, so that x minus two equals zero, or x plus y minus one equals zero, which we'll leave like that for now. For the second equation for dy dt being zero, we get that either y equals minus one or x equals y because x minus y equals zero. Now from this, we want each of these to be true at the same time. So we want this to be an and between these. We then need to pick one equation from the left and one from the right to be true at the same time. So for one point, we could pick that x equals two and that y equals negative one, giving me the point two comma minus one. We could put x equals two and x equals y, which gives me the point two for x and then x equals y, y is also two. We could pick x plus y minus one equals zero and y equals minus one. That would give me the point minus one for y. And in terms of x, if I plug minus one into here, I will see that I get x minus one minus one equals zero or x equals two. That puts a two in here. And if I pair up the bottom two, we get that x plus y minus one equals zero and x equals y, which is to replace the x in the first equation by a y to give me y plus y minus one equals zero or y is one half, that's two y equals one and x is also one half. So one half and one half. And as we notice here, we actually have a duplicate point. This point here was listed twice. It actually came out of two different equations that we had here means that our actual list of equilibrium points does not include that point twice, it only includes it once. So our actual list of solutions, of equilibrium solutions for this problem, is that set of three right there. That's how you can go through and take a nonlinear system and look at where the equilibrium solutions are for that system. The point is, all derivatives, in this case we only had two, must be zero. So set up equations for those, and make sure the points you pick will make each of the equations zero all at the same time.